the strangest vehicles ever made. Rin Speed Scuba. Most people who see this car only recognize it as a Lotus Elise. Don't be fooled. This little sports car takes off-road to a new level. The Rin Speed Scuba is a zero emissions vehicle thanks to its electric motor. Not done there, the car is capable of driving on water thanks to two water jet propellers. Open the doors to let the water in and the scuba vanishes beneath the waves, becoming one of the sportiest submarines around. It all makes for a rather strange vehicle and gives the term crossover a whole new meaning. The Dodge Tomahawk. Unveiled in 2003, this motorcycle is definitely one strange vehicle. Dodge said that the Tomahawk was meant to show how the company could think outside the box. After looking at this, we think anyone who drives it may end up in a box. That's because the Tomahawk is powered by a 500 horsepower V10 engine, the same one found in the Dodge Viper. It has four tires and uses four-wheel steering to negotiate turns. Aerodynamically, we aren't sure how any rider could hang on to this thing as it goes from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 2.6 seconds. Tasco. Following the Second World War, people were in love with all things aviation related, and it showed in vehicle design. The 1948 Tasco is a clear indicator of his aviation inspiration. Created by legendary designer Gordon Burig, the Tasco looked like a plane which had traded its wings and tail for wheels. The cabin was surrounded by glass and had a T-top roof, the first car to ever use one. The controls and instruments looked like they had been taken right from a bomber cockpit. Unconventional glass panels, wheel fairings, engine intakes and outlets all complete the look of this advanced yet strange post-war car. Ferrari Pininfarina 512S Mondulo it may not look like a Ferrari 512S, but underneath this strange and futuristic body lies a real Italian sports car. In 1970, Ferrari had too many of its 512S race cars sitting around. Instead of scrapping them, one was given to legendary car design firm Pininfarina. The 550 horsepower V12 engine was kept, but as you can see, the car's body was radically changed. Rather than a car, the Modulo looked like it would be more at home as a prop on the set of Star Trek. Adding to the space theme was the fact that it had no doors, instead using a futuristic sliding glass canopy. 100 foot long limo. Anytime you need to arrive in style and comfort, people can count on a limousine. This creation by Jane Ornberg takes the idea to a whole new level. At 100 feet long, with 26 tires and two driver's cabins, this limo holds the Guinness record for being the biggest ever made. More of a hotel room on wheels than a luxury car, this limo features a spa, swimming pool, sun deck, and king-sized bed. If you get tired of riding around inside, that's not a problem. The car even has its own helipad, so you can just pop into your helicopter and take off it anytime you like. Cadillac Pool this strange vehicle gets a whole new meaning to the term carpool. This 1969 Cadillac DeVille with the interior converted into a fully functional hot tub. Occupants can ride around in comfort as the tub is heated and run by the car's engine. The 5,000 pounds of water is kept at a warm 102 degrees Fahrenheit and functional jets provide all the massage you need. We're not sure how street legal this is, but the owners plan to attempt to break the world record for fastest hot tub very soon. Firebird 3 Today, car designers often advertise their vehicle's performance in terms often used to describe fighter jets. One look at the 1959 Firebird 3 and you can tell that GM was literally trying to make a car that was a fire jet. The Firebird 3 was unconventional in every sense of the word. It had a gas turbine engine for main power and a smaller engine to power the car's accessories. We're not sure how many of you would be comfortable driving this car. After all, there are no gauges, only warning lights. Instead of a steering wheel, shifter, gas, and brake pedals, there is a single joystick which controls all of the car's movement. Dream Car 123 Pyramid Electric Car Electric cars often have design features that make them stand out. The Pyramid Electric Car, however, takes design to a strange new level. This vehicle looks like some sort of cheap prop from a really bad science fiction movie. That said, it has a top speed of 40 miles per hour and can drive around for three and a half hours before needing to charge. To add an extra element of strange to this vehicle, it has a neon light system which operates at night and makes a pyramid car look like something from another planet. Michelin PLR The Michelin PLR surely qualifies as one of the strangest looking vehicles ever made. 
It was purposefully built by Michelin to test the durability and build quality of their truck tires. Rather than test the tires on a regular truck, Michelin went to the spare parts bin and came up with this Frankenstein creation. The PLR had 10 wheels and was powered by two V8 engines. One engine powered the rear tires while the second engine powered a center-mounted test tire. With two engines, you might think the PLR was a hot rod, but unfortunately this ugly duckling weighed around 10 tons, limiting it to 180 kilometers per hour. Brooks Swan Car as far as strange vehicles go, the Brooks Swan Car takes the cake. Built by a wealthy and eccentric British engineer, this car looks like it would be more at home in a parade. Made with wood, the Swan Car came with self-cleaning tires, a telegraph to give instructions to the chauffeur, and a built-in organ to play as you drove around town. Even the exterior is functional. The mouth of the Swan opens to shoot out hot steam and water in order to clear people off of the road. The finishing touch is the ability to drop white wash from the rear end, providing the authentic Swan experience.